just picked up our car from the airport on our way back to the N2 to um, yeah to get there before load shedding starts although there are no street lights here but uh, load shedding only starts at, at 8 4.30 in the morning, leaving strand during load shedding. Stage 6 load shedding. Mind you. <laughs> <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Yeah, we are once again hitting the road, going through to the Eastern Cape again as was on the pole, you guys decided that we must go and visit Middleburg, Hofmeyer and Craddock and there's a few other towns that we're going to be visiting as well. But today, as you could see in the footage earlier, that we left in the dark again in the midst of load shedding, had to load the car during load shedding as well, which was quite a mission. But it's done, we're here in um, the Dwarens now, just filled up with petrol, got some snacks and we are heading up toward the Three Sisters direction. We want to go and see Three Sisters and Nelspoort. Eh? Is the other one that we want to go and see is Nelspoort. I'm not sure of um, the name. I think the name's Nelspoort. And then um, through to um, Murraysburg. And then we're going to be on a farm outside, just outside of Murraysburg. And we hope you guys enjoy the trip with us this time. It's going to be a stunning one. I'm really looking forward to this one. Toast River. Some dark clouds, but then it looks like the brightness is coming through. So I hope it's a good day where we headed. I just pulled over yeah on the N1, about 20 kilometers towards the Joburg side of Toast River. You can hear we're on the N1 the trucks driving past and we've always come past this little station and never stopped here it's called Tweed Side Station there's this cute little building but I just want to show the name yeah Tweed Side there it is Tweed Side Station Also seems to be an abandoned one. Well, it definitely an abandoned one. But I want to show you this little house or little building, which is actually quite amazing. Even got a little chimney. Must have made takeaways or food to eat, yeah. And Lanesburg. Prince Albert Road, it looks like a station. It does. Wow. No, it looks like a, a little community again. Yes. That was centered around the station. It's a truck stop now. We yeah. Can, go, can we go in here? Yes. Yeah. Look at this Prince Albert Road station. I never knew this. <gasps> This is beautiful. Look at those buildings. Wow. Again, it looks like it was major. In its day. Look at that. How stunning is this? It's been turned into a truck stop now. Every 
everything's been caged up. Prince Albert Road Station. Interesting shot, eh? <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah. So these are the old railway houses. Looks like there are people living here. Definitely. There are even more houses that side of the train. Yes. The railway line, do you see? I saw that, yeah. That's a good little community. Yeah, it looks like all these stations along here were like played a big part in the railroad system of South Africa. Right next to the N1, hey? What is it, not even 200 meters, 300 meters? No, it's right next to it. <laughs> yeah. I still think if it were four hours later, you would have been intrigued by the Nowhere Bar. Yes, definitely. <laughs> it's a little bit early now. <laughs> the purple place yep. <laughs> we decided we don't have time to wait today for our food so we ordered ahead so I hope it's ready so that we can hit the road first day is always um, a bit of a rush This is our food that Sonia ordered for us. It's uh, lamb rib jaffles and curry mince jaffles, uh, which we got at our purple shop here in Beaufort West. And they couldn't make us our normal um, toasties because of load shedding, so they could do this on the gas. We are, I would say, about 50 kilometers from Three Sisters, and uh, we are having rain. Yep, it's raining. Absolutely not even the smallest patch of blue sky. So it's not really very hard, but uh, certainly more than a, than a drizzle than it was earlier. So I saw this on the map and I've driven past Nelspoort sign so many times on the N1. I decided we have to come in and see what Nelspoort is about. Let's, and you say it's not far in. It's not far in. What's interesting about Nelspoort is that the original N1 used to go through Nelspoort. Then when they built the new one, it was deviated and taken away from Nelspoort. I must tell you, all the times we've driven on the N1, I've never even noticed the sign. Exactly. We were traveling down the road towards Nelspoort and we saw a little station along the route here and it's called 
The Yuk Station, J-U-K. Here we go, Yuk Station. And this is Nelspoort, it looks like. Now, the angle of those boards are such that I can't see it. <laughs> How do we know for sure? We'll have to go to those boards. Nelspoort station. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you can see there's trains running on these tracks. Nelspoort. There's now an extremely old bridge. Check the rocks in the front there that they used to build it up with. Yeah. And there. It looks like there's sleepers in the wood logs in there too. Wow. Okay, so this is the town of Nelsport. We stopped at the station. Now we found the town. Nelspoort welcomes you. So is this the little town? This is the little town. Okay. Police station, quite big. Yeah. Well, let me tell you what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this old sanatorium. Right. It was built in 1920. Specifically for TB patients. In Nelspoort? In Nelspoort because the air was good for TB patients here. Yeah. Oh, the dryness. The dryness. Wow. Even the roof's falling apart. No, this is utter and complete destruction. Huh? Yeah, totally. Whatever it was, it is no more. It is no more. So we just met someone, because I've been looking for the old uh, TB sanatorium here in Nelsport. But it apparently doesn't exist anymore. And this building is the old garlic hospital. hospital. And look what, it's, what has happened to it. Yeah. You can see it became shops. The gentleman says that it was handed to the community. Oh, okay. So then it became shops, but then it seems to have been vandalized. Total destruction. That's the new hospital That's the now. new hospital, yes. new garlic hospital. Correct. Now this sanatorium, as I said before, was started in 1920 and closed down in 1970 because of TB being um, under control, under control. Contained. Yeah. but it was all because of the climate here. But I really never expected to see this huge clinic here. Wow. These windows are all still intact, strangely enough. Yeah. But it's clearly also old not functional. Definitely not. Is it interesting. Very interesting. Under the 
train tracks. Yep. <laughs> Something. Yeah, it's in a, there's a post office. It's a post office. So this is the town. This is the library. Beaufort West Municipality. Okay. Community Nutritional Development Centre. All government buildings now. Yeah. So it's been taken over by the government, it seems. I think the site houses. I don't think there's a town as such. Yeah. Shops or banks or anything like no. that. No. Mm, these look old to me. Very old. Wow. Let's drive past this one, see if there's any sign remaining. Nothing. It looks semi-inhabited. Yeah, it does. Eh? Wow. wow, wow, wow. Even has a willow tree. Yeah. Oh, wow. If walls could talk. Exactly. Yeah. This is amazing. This must have been a beautiful place in its day, eh? Yeah, quite large too. And I wonder what those round buildings are for. Were for. Exactly. Super interesting. An interesting bit of information about the Nelsport area was that the original inhabitants of this area actually were the sand people. And uh, they found rock art at Tierkloof. And amongst these pictures that were drawn over, they suspect it was called Megalotragus, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And they say that's been extinct for about 10,000 years. So the rock art itself must be about at least 10,000 years old. It's an animal, right? An animal, yeah. Is that a horse? Looks like a horse in the road. Two horses. And another. Hey, old chap. These Hello. are wild horses. Definitely. Look at those cool colours. Oh, they're gorgeous. Amazing. This one's beautiful, eh? Yeah. Look at that one with a diamond. white diamond. Yeah. This is incredible, eh? They are like wild horses. Yeah, just dropping around you. <laughs> hey. Wowie. Cool. Okay. Came driving down this road and looked into this riverbed. Like the rock formations are crazy. This road is so quiet. Look at this. Wow. And there on the other side they stacked rocks. Like a wall. And the same this side. That's 
that's where the railroad runs. And this little bridge was built in 1944. And I think this was the original N1 before they diverted it away from Nelspoort. Just quickly stopped yeah. Look at the three sisters over there, but you can just see the two and the one peeking out the back there. Up front there is the three sisters ultra city. And I over all these years have always thought three sisters is a town. Me too. Small town. Small town. But a town all the same. But it's not. It's just these mountain peaks and this ultra city. There is no town. And then the Three Sisters station. Okay. Which I'm going to see if I can find. Okay, that's a surprise to me. I honestly also thought it was a town. This is it. Stop here often. Yeah. And here we are at Three Sisters Station. With the Three Sisters keeping an eye on the station. One can easily miss this one in the front. In eh? the front, yeah, let me just zoom into it. There it is. That's the one sister. And there the other two. Oh, here yeah, they are. Directly in front of us. Yeah, now you can see the one yes. here in front. Exactly. Very clearly. Yeah. Very clearly. Yeah. Now the other one's creeping behind the other one. <laughs> when we were young, we were always waiting to see who can see them first. Exactly. <laughs> They are very nice. Look at them. It was interesting discovering Nelspoort and seeing what it looked like. Unfortunately, also the devastation that's happening there. And then also finding out that I've been wrong about Three Sisters all my life, thinking that it was a town. Meantime, it's just the Ultra City the station and the mountains. Or both <laughs> of us. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, we saw some interesting things on and off the N1 today. Definitely.